Hi everyone, it's Forsythia with Cacti on White and welcome to my channel. I thought I would pop on and just show you guys um, my setup that I completed yesterday as I finished bringing in all the plants from outdoors. So the bulk of the plants will overwinter in my garage, but I do have some indoors. So I wanted to show you where I'm uh, doing some overwintering this winter. Um, I decided to put them in or the large majority in my office. So I'm in my office right now. I love these sta these uh, stands. I have four or five of them. Uh, this is the only one that's indoors. The rest are in the garage along with a bigger metal shelf that I use for larger, heavier pots. Um, but yeah, I think it looks really good. I'm still in the process of getting the lights set up. Um, but just wanted to show you here. I got my nice big um, gymnocalisiums back indoors. My my desert orchid, which I just love. This thing is so cool. Um, but um, you can see here, I can get quite a few plants. Not a lot, but just enough. Um, the plants that I like, enjoy looking at the most, or are the less hardy. And some of these are hardier, but I like looking at them, so that's why they got picked to be in here. But uh, just wanted to share that with you guys pretty quickly. A um, little short video here so you can kind of see my setup. I love these lamps. They came from Ikea. I've had them for a few years now, and they do a really good job. I love the arm. It's flexible and moves. This moves around as well, and you just connect it to wherever you want the light to be. Pretty simple. These are plant lights that are bulbs in here. Um, I probably will replace them with some newer ones for this overwintering season. Uh, yeah, so I love these guys. I've got my beautiful Gemno here. That purple color is so pretty. And then uh, Cory Cory Fanthas right here. Some Astros. Um, more gymno back there, Madagascar palm, there's an aloe back there, um, that's a euphorbia there, um, let's see what else, a beautiful Haworthia, look at that, isn't that gorgeous, I've had that for a while, and then down here, um, this big guy, which I've posted about recently on my Instagram, so you'll want to check me out on Instagram if you're not doing that. This is my Feral Cactus Glossiensis, and it has a baby. See the little pup there? And then that's a Feral Cactus there. Uh, agave, my Euphorbia uh, Decarii right there, which did a lot of great growing. A um, couple more Euphorbias, very, very thorny Gymnocalisium. So yeah, just wanted to share this with you guys. I'll show you um the rest of the plants that i have right now housed indoors so let me take you guys there so here's one the hoodia right here i brought this in from outdoors and i think that's the only one in my woman cave that is from outside the rest live in here all the time and as i was saying oh my um I brought in a couple of weeks, maybe two weeks ago now, my Stephanias are inside. So there you go. There's a, uh, four there. And then I brought in my little uh, Desert Rose Dorset Horn. Uh, that was this week. And then there's some more Stephanias up here. And I brought in this Pheasant uh, Breast Aloe. It's beautiful, isn't that beautiful? I just love that plant. And then this beautiful um, Gasteria here, I brought it in. Isn't it gorgeous? Did a lot of growing as well this growing season. All right, so I'll show you. I think that may be it. I think I might have one, one or two plants that I brought in and they're in my bedroom. So I'll show you those. So of course, and I think I had that in a recent video or on Instagram, my Boafanes are indoors now. So I have three specimen plants. Well, I have 
three pots that were outdoors. These two were outdoors and I brought them in about maybe two weeks ago now. And then I have some seedlings that are in the garage, which I may move in. It's three in a pot. And then I have a fairly new one that's right there that's been never been outside, so it's in. Um, but I brought in this Spiralis cactus here. So it's indoors now for the winter. This is a new repotting. Um, it was outdoors. Uh, it's a big euphorbia, black tea, white ghosts. So I repotted it earlier this week, I think it was, and brought it indoors. And it's got a good spot by the window. And over here, all of these were already indoors. So let's see, that may be it for this room. So this guy here has been, lives outside. So I brought it indoors a couple of weeks ago, as well as this whole Warthia was brought inside. So I may have shown this, my Euphorbia uh, Stellata. It was brought in a couple of weeks ago, so not maybe two weeks ago. I brought this in yesterday, and it's a euphorbia. Um, I'll show you guys the tag. I never can pronounce this, but here is the tag, if it will focus. There you go, hopefully. So yeah, brought this guy in. And then I have a little, I have a little shelf in my living room, which I will show you that I need to finish with lights and stuff like that for it. But let me show you that. So before I show you that, I did bring in my ponytail palms. Here's one right here. I did a little short on these. The day Tori and I were trimming them and getting them ready to come in, washing the pots and stuff. So I brought this guy in. Look how long this is. Wow. So I brought that one in and also this guy which we ended up having to cut a little bit and let's see and then here is here are the ones on the little shelf that i need to get uh some lighting um so brought in these guys another ponytail palm um it's a combination mammillaria here uh my uh, Buddha belly, some aloes. So yeah. Yeah, so everything's indoors with the exception of a few apuntias that are remaining outdoors. And then in the front of the house, there is no plants. There are no plants, everything's brought in. So I hope you guys en enjoyed this quick video. How's your overwintering going? What's the situation in your area with the weather? Are you bringing things in now? Are you holding off? Um, this is a new acquisition. Isn't it beautiful? Um, drop a comment down below and let me know how's, how's it going for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this quick video. I'm going to go ahead and close it out. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.